Next up is the tan rocket, and the guide just says to connect to blue, so I bet I could do that one on my own. Like, it technically already connects. The rocket faces down. We'll go through the puzzle, then go down again. Okay, that hits a door, but if this room were straight, it would then go into the puzzle here, which I'm pretty sure I have to make a connection. I'm pretty sure th here to here has to become a connection so that it can come out this door or this launch. So I'll set that up. That actually seems really tough. So somehow I got to get this S piece over to the connection, which probably means breaking down a wall. I don't see any way to flip it over this wall, so it must be breaking down a wall. Or maybe I have to break in? I'm not sure. But it's been a while since I've done this level. I know I kind of have to start like this, because that's how I eat the dots. So somehow I got to get a dot up against the fence so I can eat into it. However, when I eat this, I just grow from my tail. Hmm... Well, maybe I could do something weird. Like, what if I grab this socket and then flip? Aha! I've gotten the worm out of the exit, but I'm stuck and can't leave because it's in my belly. And I can't back up any further because of the wall. But I did get to flip it, so maybe I can do something fun with that? Let me back out to before I flipped. What if I do a little shimmy before flipping? So now my tail is facing to the side oh but i can't back out here my tail tries to push me but i'm still socked in the worm so i can't back out i could go here but then it's the same problem as before what else could i do maybe i could take the tall worm push it over one and then flip ah oh, just the other worms in the way now all right let's just say it's in the water i know it shouldn't be but let's just say it is oh this is interesting actually with this flip Imagine if the worm was one longer, then imagine where my tail would be. It would slice open on the fence. Also, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I eat this, go down, it slices off here. This would be really good if the worm I wanted wasn't in the water right now. Because look at this. I can break down a fence from here. So I got to do this without pushing the S piece in the water. Easy. If I just push it out of the way, like, this far, it can still be saved pretty easily. Does this do it? That'll do it. Yo. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta break down the wall. But I gotta break down two walls in order to get this S piece through. Otherwise, it won't fit. But I think that could be managed, actually. I just need a long straight line so I can roll this over and then push it and then slice. And there we go. That's long. And now I can break down a second fence. That's beautiful. I can't believe this puzzle had a second solution this entire time. Right under all of our noses. But I mean... You're never going to get it until you actually learn those mechanics. How neat that you come back with new wisdom and then are able to solve the puzzle in a way previously unsolvable. Oh, isn't that cool? <laughs> I can fix this. Let's hope and pray this works because I was thinking I'd come over, slice. No, not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Okay, I can do this. There. Aha! I knew it was fixable. <laughs> Just took a little bit of effort. Anyway, how cool. Right, so now that would expel a worm from here, which would then go into the short part of the tunnel. And according to that one sign, it said it would connect to blue, so I guess I gotta set that up, huh? This setup work? Yeah, that does work. So it connects to this room which connects to this point, takes a right turn out this door, possibly to here, to this circle. Oh, this puzzle's revisited. So then I got to connect to this circle. Okay, how do I do that? Somehow I got to build an L worm? Where? How? So I'm length five, my goal is length five. 
and the worm that I need is length four. So I guess I do need to eat every dot and then slice myself into the beast that could actually connect the bridge. Where would this happen? Because there's no pre-existing worms, the actually only way to slice myself is to go on the ceiling, then drop down. Mm, but don't I need a pre-existing worm in order to do that? How can I possibly slice myself open? The only way I can slice myself open is with Ouroboros. That's the only way. This is Ouroborosable? If I eat three, I can grow to size eight, which should let me Ouroboros with eating another piece. And the last piece available should be easily pushed out, I hope. Get out of there. Snake me. Okay, that's cool. So then, my only play right now is a slice. Oh, I've already lost. Maybe I Ouroboros in a different direction then. Okay, how about this one? It's still bad. Oh, what if I'm a tall Ouroboros, not a long one? There could be some merit to that. Set it up like this. Because now when I slice myself, I'm size 5 and I've set up the correct shape. Wow, this was clever. This could have been done from the beginning. Unbelievable. The only thing that has changed is my knowledge about the situation just by learning through mechanics of the game, and this puzzle could have been solved. I was like, huh, this puzzle is kind of weird. It feels like there's some unused elements. Little did I know the genius in mind. Well, this isn't the end of it, because it continues to the right. Oh, and it finally unlocks this puzzle, this one that I've been commenting on. I'm like, huh, why can't I play this puzzle? I thought I could bridge the gap from the puzzle to my rights, but that's not it. You gotta solve it like this. Now it's time for a beautiful journey. That is awesome. Unbelievably awesome. So all I gotta do is get a size two worm into its hole, which apparently is very challenging. Okay. It is a very constrained area. But here's something kind of strange uh, besides death. Well, that is strange in its own way. I was thinking I can't really do anything here. Like I got a sock, but there is no movement. So I think I gotta get in the air somehow, but I can't quite get in the air until I eat. So I imagine how I could eat. I would have to use the three long and the one horizontal fence. That's not too easy to set up now, is it? It's a lot of tight maneuvering, but I can get the three long over to here. Oh, and I, oh, you know, actually, maybe I just need to cut off my own head. Oh, yeah, actually, I think it's a lot easier if I cut off my own head. I was thinking, like, this would have to be extremely painfully convoluted, but that's actually not the case. I'm starting to see the lines. Uh, it's all kind of coming together. I just got to move around. Push this. Maybe not there. That's the one catch. So this three long has to just be able to roll continuously over to here. And in order to do that, it just needs to be on top of something. So I was thinking maybe what if I roll it myself? There is a limit to everything. I have an idea again. It might be easier if I reset, actually. And then start by pushing this down, okay? So then I can push the three long to be here. This could work as a backstop and a good starting point for me to start pushing this piece. I will sock it. Roll, roll, roll. Oh, and drop it exactly there. That's exactly where it needs to be. Oh, very clever. <laughs> I like it. It's like, again, had that moment of, oh, no, this is going to be freaking ridiculous to solve. But then realizing it's actually not too bad. And then having that confidence like, oh, it's going to be super easy. Then being hit with the actual puzzle. It's like, well, no, I still got to be caught with this one thing. And then mathing it all out, coming to a conclusion, launching a rocket. What a beautiful game. I gotta see what happens when another worm makes it to this world. Oh, I love how the rockets are just being stockpiled here. I got four legs now. I think I move a little faster, but let me just try throwing myself. It's not impressive. I need to get more. What is the next rocket I want to do? I could go to light blue, do things in order. So from here, I actually haven't even gotten to the rocket yet. 
I gotta have 14 moves to do it. So here's what I'm gonna do then. I'm gonna try to work on dark blue to help light blue get his rocket. And that just means pushing him down like that. Surely he can get it now. Nice, easy. Oh, and this is a super easy one to solve. There is no effort required. Oh, never mind. It's never that easy. I see what's happening here. I was so excited for a second. Well, I've got to solve this and leave a little too long then. That's certainly interesting because I think I started like this. So I think I can still push this around a little bit. Eh, hold on. I don't see how I'm going to make that connection. I'm too short to do anything. Do you think there's any merit to just slicing one piece open and trying to break down the wall? Hmm. Let's mess around with this though. What if I become three size? Maybe I can do some funny things then. Like one thing has changed is I can swallow the whole thing. It's so like, well, I can't really pivot easily from this location, but you know, if I pivot once, I could pivot again if the fence weren't in the way. Well, if it's shaped like this, I still can't do anything yet. Reset again. I still think I'm on to something. I've just got to keep switching up the order. I don't know why I brought the L piece to the left side at first when I could actually bring it over here instead. Because now I could flip and then eat and then flip again and then be stuck and be absolutely sad. Why would I do this to myself? Are there any merits of flipping vertically first? Oh, currently no, because I'm pretty stuck. Well, that's not true. I guess I can actually keep it moving. Oh, I can move it all the way over here. Maybe this is something. Still has to be cut, but this can work. Like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This seems close. There is one issue. Well, let me talk about the good things first. I like talking about the good things. I think the good thing is I can take this worm, push it over, and then down. And now I have all the worms kind of in one place together. The less good thing is the vertical worm. What are you going to do with your life? Just kind of sit there on the edge, be disappointment. Should have guessed. Well, maybe if I back it up a little, hold on. Don't split it. What if I take this first and pivot it vertically? Like so, okay? And then I flip it horizontally, okay? Flip it like that, and now line it up with a cool flip here. Okay, okay, this is actually everything. It is, let me just get you slightly out of the way. Well, that was tricky. Hopefully, I don't need much more, but yeah, I was very surprised that was possible. So it escapes going down, and it looks like it just passes through the level, continues going down. Great. And it looks like it continues going down further, bypassing this level. Oh, yeah, and entering this world. Okay, and continuing to go down. Great. And still continuing to go down. What the hell? How long is this? And finally making it to a circle here, which needs to connect. Damn it. All right. What alternate solution is here? Puzzle's been a while. Ah, but I remember it mostly. I think it started like this, right? Yeah, and I think it seemed might be a lot easier now. Well, hold on. It has to be a two gap. Because I remember this was a level I had to push that dot onto there. And then get the dot in here and then get this dot. Now I gotta do a little bit extra. So just lining this up, getting ready to be sliced. It doesn't do much because I can't, oh, I can make it around to this side. Ah. Push it here. Easier solution, hopefully. Because only one goes into the water now, but can the other one be saved? Currently, no, it cannot. Currently, yes, it can. Why did I think it couldn't? Well, it doesn't matter because it's solved now. And with the gap bridged, it continues to go down through another door. Hopping into the puzzle, then I believe going down again. Making it all the way to here, which looks like it continues to go down further. What the hell? This is messed up. Oh, it looks like it continues to go down further. Then does it finally enter this mega puzzle? I think it does. Mission accomplished.
Yes! Alright! How do I beat this level? I have no idea. What on earth even is this puzzle? So there's like a giant cage worm that can shift a lot of things at once if you want. So if I want, I can make a big push, pushing the big worm to the right, pushing everything to the right and hopefully solving all of it at once. I don't know where to begin. Um, try pushing that up. Socking? Yeah, what good does that do me? That just gets me stuck. Reset. Well, one thing I would love to do would be to push this too long worm into its goal, but I fall in by accident. Well, so I could have another worm do my dirty work. Push that in. Then can I get it back? I think it actually can be freed, right? Because if I bring it down and then push this way, I think I can free it. I can also push this worm down now too. Super miracle. Yeah, okay, hold on to getting somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push the tall worm out of the way. Push this worm up, and now I got a solid backside. Then one thing I could do is push this up, socket, flip it. Nope, can't push that worm up ever. Because again, it's not coming back down. Okay, so I guess I'd have to use the other worm. Okay, maybe there's some massive BS that can happen. Let me show you what I mean. First, you gotta take this worm, bring it down. Hopefully that's far enough. And then I'll do a lot of rotations of this worm with the eventual goal of getting it to be in a good spot. I can't push down the vertical worm so far yet. Maybe to here, and maybe send it over. Now I can flip this, okay, okay. Maybe getting somewhere. Possibly. Because then I may, and I will, flip this again. Now it's the correct shape. Now I can push it, get this worm in as well, and solve it. I don't know if that was the intended mechanism or combination of worms, but it was the one I saw. Let me just say, though, it feels so good to knock these rockets out. How do I do with five legs? I'm a little faster. I uh, still can't throw myself. Back I go. Next rocket I must find is in Cactus Land. Might be easier to reset. I have an idea where I go from blue to pink, possibly. And pink could do a lot of down pushing. Oh, but it doesn't connect. Darn. I could still have blue help out a little. Pink could come over, still aid in the cactus, just doing so in a way that it could line up with light blue. Maybe light blue could help a little more. Like we do some serious down pushing now. Like that. Oh, it's really close now. Ah, that's one way to get to the cactus. And it's immediately pointing out a door. Now this is supposed to be the hard one because I'm supposed to go from orange to light blue to pink. And I got to figure out which door I got to line up with. It might be easier to reset. Actually, I wonder if it's written on any of the panels anywhere. Because I don't think I've checked all the backs of the snakes. Why don't I do that? Oh, I got pink's battery. Well, I already solved that one. Thanks, though. How about Cactus Land? Well, that might be it. There we go. I'm glad that exists. I appreciate it. So I gotta start with the blue here. Up, up, up. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Light blue. Up, left, left, left. Up, 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 up. Left, left, left. Up, up, up. Pink. Up, up. Left, down, down. Left, down. Right, right, right. Down, down. Yeah, I'm very thankful for that. Well, let's get puzzle solving. So I do think there is a canonical reason, uh, maybe not canonical, but like a very helpful reason for uh, those hints being in the game. And it's because for some people like me, trying to figure it out probably isn't that fun. But I'm glad I can just discover it somewhere. Anyway, what a funny tiny puzzle. I gotta break down a fence somehow. I think it's actually gonna be a horizontal fence. You would think it'd be the fence that directly separates my small area with the goal, but I bet I have to break a fence on the top or the bottom and then snake around. Let's test that theory, okay? So first, we gotta back this into the wall and then break down a fence here. And, well, I can't do much yet, but... Oh, but now I can back out and then grab this and hopefully make it around. <laughs> nice, all right. 
A tiny little trick, but another rocket complete. I love these rocket puzzles. Can six slice support a can? I feel faster, but I'm still not strong enough. Let's keep it going. Next up is the pink rocket. I think I need a reset because I haven't even collected it yet. Out of curiosity, can it just reach? It looks like it can. Oh, okay, easy. So according to the notes, it goes into blue and it shoots down the third path. Is this the connection? It is, it goes into the door. Hopefully blue is waiting. Yeah, that's not the right receptacle on blue. I guess it could be the bridge way up high. Well, I can always back up four times, three times even. Yeah, so here it comes from the third one, goes around and down. Oh, and it just connects to this worm. Awesome, I can manage that. Well, so <laughs> this puzzle was a while ago. Things have changed now that I'm the small worm. How on earth am I gonna rotate this worm? Well, I guess I have learned a thing or two about flipping it while in the water. Um, but I, I could flip it either horizontally or vertically. Gotta remember that. Well, yeah, which is why I'm talking about flipping in the water. I bet the catch is this time I actually need to flip it in the water. I, I don't know if that's true yet, but I guess we'll find out pretty soon. Figured here is okay. Yeah, but how do I sock it? You know, so I get it here. I can't sock. Well, maybe I can use the weird and strange mapping of the world, uh, or the map, or the level itself, to my advantage here. Whoops. I don't know how this one's supposed to work, because I don't even know how I would begin to solve from here. I'm, t I'm too small. Maybe push the whole thing up a little bit. And from here, try to, well, I can't really push down. All I can do is... Oh, well, actually, if I've knocked it into the water, that works. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Knock it into the water so I can properly flip. I guess that is the first level that used that little mini trick. The seventh like has arrived. I can't believe there's only one left. It's crazy to me that seven legs is still too slow, but it's fine. I will make it to the purple rocket. So it goes out the door right away. It's in the smallest one. And Brown does have a receptacle in the smallest one, which immediately goes up into the ultra long level. The longest worm. <laughs> it's arrived. This is comically large. Somehow, <laughs> I just gotta get this two length into its goal. And what's with all these fences? Oh, moving looks so weird. Kind of hypnotizing, actually. I think what I need to just be able to do is make a maze so I can exit from where I came. It's a really long and convoluted maze here. but this might actually perfectly work out. Okay, yeah, actually, it wasn't that bad at all. <laughs> that was just the first maze I saw, and that is the final rocket. I can't wait to see what's on the other side. Well, this is eight worms. I can move fast now. I got an achievement called Working Together, and I do love the multicolored legs. I think it's just a wonderful touch. Well, now time to chuck myself over here, see what the deal is. 